when things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once and they just compound on top of each other. And it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems and they all hit you at the same time. But let me tell you that that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. It means it's time for you to fight harder, to dig in. It means it's time for you to go on the war path. And that starts with one of the fundamental laws of combat leadership, prioritize and execute. What's the biggest problem? What's causing the most stress? Family? Okay. Sit them down. Explain where you are at. Be blunt. Be upfront. And then give them the simple plan of how you're going to get things back on track. Don't sugarcoat it. You give it to them straight. Next, you got some, some late payments. Call those creditors up. Explain to them what's going on. Set up some kind of a, of, a, of a minimum payment plan so you can start making some progress and get them off your back. And then you've got your job. Right? You're falling behind at work. Okay, talk to your boss. Face it. Tell him that you're going to step up your game. Tell him you're going to be at work early, you're going to be at work late, you're going to be at work during lunch, you're going to be wherever you need to be whenever he needs you to be there. Tell him you're going to get after it and tell him that you're 100% committed to supporting him and the company and the mission. And then you get started. And I'm going to tell you right now, it won't be easy. It will be hard because life is hard. That's what life is. And these challenges, these challenges that you face, they're going to do their best to take you down. Do not let them. Stand up. Dig in. Line up those problems and confront them. Face them. Fight them. Do not let them bring you down. In fact, in fact, let those challenges raise you up. Let them elevate you. Let their demands and their trials make you stronger. Let the adversity you face today turn you into a better person tomorrow so so in the future you look back at these struggles and you say to them thank you you made me better it's all back down to a very primitive mindset of we just have to do it's like breathing. Breathing becomes normal. We don't know that we're doing it. That's how you have to live your life. When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You just say, this is what we do. It's what we do now. Because to get to where you want to go, the amount of pain involved, I'm not saying physical, I'm not saying you got to break yourself off. The amount of mental pain, of how many times you're gonna have to do something that you don't want to do to get to where you want to go. There's gonna be more times you do something that you don't wanna do than you are gonna wanna do. That, that's your new norm. So then it's like breathing. And then once you do this over and over and over again, it becomes like breathing. I don't wanna live this lifestyle, but to get to the other side of this, I have to.